my model, Hazel. And are you gonna help me teach everybody how to clean an ear? Awesome! Okay, so your ear is one week old, right? Okay, so we're gonna do first step of cleaning and we're gonna show mommy your ear. So she's helping us with our video. So very typical for an ear to have like mostly pink, kind of pinky purple skin on the front of the ear. And then in the back, which is where tummy skin usually goes, um, at, for whatever reason, it's a different color. And it will be for like six months. And then it evens out and the colors are more and more normal. In the bowl is the hardest to clean. So we use hydrogen peroxide, full strength with Q-tips. Doesn't hurt. Oh yeah, you helped me last time, right? Okay, so we're gonna, you wanna hold one for me? So I can do two? Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna turn your head a little and you're not gonna hurt anything. You just go in there and you gently um, roll it around and it's helpful to get the, the bowl, which is the hardest part to clean. And then sometimes we'll ask you to run a Q-tip along incision lines. Usually that's later, but it helps us clean some of the areas where it's harder to clean where the stitches are. So that's all you do, super simple. The next phase of cleaning involves three pieces of gauze is what you're gonna need. And it's a special gauze that I give you um, that's hard to find because you can actually see through it. That's what makes it really good at cleaning. So you just get two of these completely wet. One is for rinsing off the soap and one is for soap. We give you at the office the soap you're gonna need and we just make it super bubbly, right? And we come over here and I always get everybody wet. So we have a towel. Turn your head up a little. How's that? Good. Okay, so gentle, but not so gentle you don't accomplish anything. So we're scrubbing, and how do you feel? Good. Can you feel me touch your ear a little, or not so much? Do you feel it? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, good. All right, let's turn you a little bit here. You can show the back, get the bowl. Sorry, baby, get the back. All up everywhere. The next part of cleaning is just rinsing. So you just take your gauze that only has water and you take off the soap, just because I feel like it gives the medicine a better chance to get where it needs to go. And Hazel's gonna get our most common dressing, uh, which we're gonna show. So then you dry it off after you've gotten the soap off or you can air dry at home and now we're going to show you how to put on the medicine so um every, every patient is a little bit different um so for hazel we're going to start with this one one of the creams we give you whoops in the front and a different cream that we give you in the back and you just follow it this one just kind of nice and thick for both of these creams. This is that first week. And we're gonna use a different cream for the back. I don't know why, but it just always ends up that I usually have you do two different ones. This one's going in the back. I wear gloves, you can just wash your hands before and after, nice and thick. That's like a first dressing. And then to kind of keep the medicine, we use Vaseline gauze. And you can really cut this in half because you get a pretty big piece. But since I don't have a scissors, we're gonna use the whole thing. <laughs> um, you can pack the back like that and then pack a little in the bowl and the rest just kind of covers the ear and it just holds everything in place. You're doing so good. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, that was it. That was all we're gonna do. Thank you for helping me. Are you good? Awesome. <laughs>
We did a great job.